What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. In today's video, I'll be showing you all of the 2021 Winter Wave Marvel figures that LEGO has released. Now, unfortunately, thanks to Doc Ock's giant arms, it was impossible to fit everybody into the frame comfortably, but sit back, relax, and let's dive through and start talking about the 2021 Winter Wave Marvel figures. And if you guys are into content like this, before we take the final dive, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below for more content just like this. Now, now, let's dive in. Since most of the 2021 sets for Marvel so far have been Spider-Man, I figure we'll start with Spider-Man stuff and we will jump into the Avengers at the end. So the new Spider-Man this year has 100% new parts, well, except for those standard blue legs, but the big draw here, of course, are those printed arms. We've always wanted printed arms on Spider-Man, and we finally got them. I think it's a great representation of the character, too. It's not too much like any one version. It definitely gives a lot of great classic Spider-Man vibes, and he is a great figure even though he's the most common in this wave. Next up, we have Miles Morales, who comes in the $10 Miles Morales mech set, and he's a great, great figure. Now, he's got dull molded legs, which means he has black boots on the bottom with the gray shorts on top. That really looks fantastic, and this may be the cheapest set ever to include a dual molded figure, uh, as far as the legs are concerned. Drop a comment and let me know if that's true. Obviously not counting CMFs. Anyways, the torso has him in his Miles Morales suit with a hoodie over top with a Miles Morales Spider-Man logo on the back. A very, very cool little detail. He does have a head here that has printing on both sides of it, and then this maroon hoodie piece that, of course, matches the hoodie itself and rounds out for a great character in a cheap set, and honestly, what more can you ask for? And for our last spider hero from this wave, we do have Spider-Gwen. She's a great, great figure. She is exactly the same as every previous Spider-Gwen we've gotten in other sets, with the exception of having this new white hood piece. She does not have printing on the back of the head, but the white hood piece definitely does look good and rounds out a great figure for a great character. Here we have Sandman, which is a really cool figure, but I hate the fact that they reused the Clone Trooper head. It's almost like a meme, but I, I just feel like this figure could have been a lot better, especially when we look at previous Sandman figures, but it comes in such a cheap 4 plus set, it's really hard to argue with. Here we've got Carnage, who is the villain from the Spider-Man Ghost Rider team-up set, and he has these big tentacles that come out, unique to this character. However, what isn't unique to this character is the actual minifig itself. It has appeared in other sets, so while it's a cool figure, it's always a bummer to have to get rehashed figures. I'm okay with getting the same character more than once, but at least give us a new version. But in any case, this is Carnage. A lot like Carnage, we have a figure that's almost identical to his last iteration, with the exception of the fact that he comes with this cool green smoke piece here that he stands on, and this very cool, like, blue glittery helmet. When you lift up that helmet, you can see he's just got a gray head underneath, nothing too special, but this is a great Mysterio figure if you didn't get him from the last wave, and I think the set he comes in is better than the last set Mysterio came in, but I wish that he had more printing on the arms or the legs or something like that. And here we have Doc Ock, and this version of Doc Ock is brand new, of course, for uh, this iteration of Doc Ock, and the arms are new too. You can see that the arms are built on one of the back pieces that debuted with the Outriders from LEGO Avengers Infinity War, but when we flip the figure around, the arms just feel way too bulky to me personally. Also, because of the way that this back position thing is here, you can't actually make him stand on the hands in a right way. I mean, if you do, he's kind of like leaning forward like that. So I think the figure itself is cool, but these are probably my least favorite Doc Ock arms to date. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about this figure in particular, so drop a comment and let me know. Our last figure for the Spider-Man section is, of course, the Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider figure. Now, this figure is completely brand new. Robbie Reyes' Ghost Rider has never been made before. And how the Ghost Rider head works is it's actually a headpiece, and this flame piece is built into the head. So you can't take those flames off the head. It's all one piece. I think that this figure turned out really great, and I'm a huge Robbie Reyes fan from the comics, so this is definitely a welcome addition into my collection. Here we've got the 2021 Thor, which comes from the mech set, the Thor mech armor, and this is identical to the 2020 Thor, with the exception of the fact that this one comes with the Ragnarok-style helmet in a lighter silver color, and this one is missing a cape. You can, of course, lift that helmet off and see he's got his lightning eyes on this side, but beyond that, it's a pretty familiar figure since we basically already got it, with the exception of that new helmet. 
And probably my favorite figure of the entire wave is the Captain America who comes in the Captain America mech set. This set is $10, and of course he's just got plain blue legs, no arm printing, but that torso printing with the scale armor there looks really great. And the helmet, being the new cap helmet with the 2020 Captain America head, just comes together to make for a great figure. So let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts on the 2021 LEGO Marvel Winter Wave figures. All right, guys, well, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of these figures. Let me know who you think is the best. Let me know if you think any of these actually aren't that good. And in any case, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more LEGO content daily here on my channel. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So thanks for tuning in to today's video. And until next time, build on.